morning, my name is Hibble Isaac Berry from Berry Science Lab, and today we're solving problem number three. So now, three is actually a pretty cool number because it's the only prime number where n factorial minus one and n factorial plus one are also prime. And also, also, oh yeah, this is five and this is seven. And also, also, it is the only prime to be two, one away from another prime, which is two. This is also the first Mersenne prime. <laughs> Hasn't stopped me before. <clears throat> Don't make that dolphin <gasps> sound. What are you, sick? <coughs> Stop making that whale's noise. <laughs> sound stupid, <clears throat> just like you are. Gonna... This is the first time I judge a book by their cover. I cannot stop laughing. You, you both look stupid and sound stupid. Donkey. Ah! At least I'm not a donkey. Uh, who told you that I was a donkey? False info and tell you. You're spreading propaganda. <sighs> okay. So, now it's the same problem all over again. Two, seven, three, eleven, six, thirteen, eight, twelve, and then twelve, nine. Now, if you don't remember, here is the area of the trapezoid. Let's take a trapezoid like this one. Now here's base one, and here is base two. And here is our height. Now here's something that I find really amazing. I don't. <coughs> Let's take this missing part, which if added on would constitute a rectangle. So, this little missing part, this length is B2 minus B1, and this length is also H. So that means that this entire thing is expressible as B2H minus one half, which is the uh, one half times this. Uh, so the area of this is gonna be one half times B2 minus B1 times H. Now what does that give us? Well, B2H minus half B2H plus b one eight. remember, we spread negativity around these parts. I don't remember. And then we get, uh, oh yeah, and this would be one half too. Then we get one half b one eight minus one half b two eight. No, not minus, b, this would be plus. Sorry, I'm messing up my arithmetic clearly. I don't. Do you even know what you're saying? So that gives you one half b1 plus b2 times h. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to interpret this in a vertical sense. So if we flip this over, we get this. So we this is our b1 and this is our b2 and this is our h, our height. Now our height is gonna be our delta x or our difference our b1 is going to be f of x1, and our b2 is gonna be f of x2. So in this case, estimating this is gonna look like this, here, here, and here. What's funny is I didn't actually draw a curve that well. I literally just drew lines between every single point. So I'm gonna redo that. Okay, maybe that looks better. So, here are our trapezoids. So here we have f of x1, which is seven. f of x2 is 11. f of x1 is 11. f of x2 is 13. Oh yeah, and our heights are one, and then three, and then two, and then four. And then this is 12, 
And then this is, sorry, not, okay. So now, calculating the area of these, how do we do that? Well, that would be one half of, well, that would be one half of f of x1 plus f of x2 uh, times delta x. So how do we express that? Well, we're gonna add that up over and over again. So it's really one half times eight times the all the bases added together. So we have seven plus 11, then plus 11 plus 13, then uh, 13 plus 12, and then 12 plus nine. All right, so we get one half h. Well, oh wait, we can't use that principle. God dang it, because we have different delta x's. All right, so let's do this by hand. Okay, what is the area of this first thing? Well, it's one half b1 plus b2h, which is seven plus 11, which is 18. Okay. Well, the area of our first trapezoid here is one half of 11 plus seven is 18 times eight is one, nine. Okay, so our second one is half 13 plus 11 is 24 and three makes uh, 36. And one half, this one is 13 plus 12 is 25. And then the difference of two makes 25 again. And then here we have uh, four, uh, 12 and nine, which makes 21. We multiply that by four, which makes 42. All right, now adding those all up, what do we get? Well, we get this. Nine plus 36 is 45. 45 plus 25 is equal to bing bong, bing bong, 70. And then 70 plus 42 gives us 112, which is pretty funnily, actually right in the middle of 110, what we got from our right hand, and 114, what we got from our left hand. Saborno Isaac Bari, who is known as the god of mathematics, became the youngest professor in the history of mankind.